In time series analysis, the partial autocorrelation function gives the partial correlation of a time series with its own lagged values, controlling for the values of the time series at all shorter lags. It contrasts with the autocorrelation function, which does not control for other lags. This function plays an important role in data analyses aimed at identifying the extent of the lag in an autoregressive model. The use of this function was introduced as part of the Boxer Euro Jenkins approach to time series modeling, whereby plotting the partial autocorrelative functions one could determine the appropriate lags p in an AR model or in an extended ARIMA model. Description Given a time series, the partial autocorrelation of lag k, denoted, is the autocorrelation between and with the linear dependence of on through removed. Equivalently, it is the autocorrelation between and that is not accounted for by lags 1 to ka1, inclusive. Where denotes the projection of onto the space spanned by. There are algorithms for estimating the partial autocorrelation based on the sample autocorrelations. These algorithms derive from the exact theoretical relation between the partial autocorrelation function and the autocorrelation function. Partial autocorrelation plots are a commonly used tool for identifying the order of an autoregressive model. The partial autocorrelation of an AR, P, process is zero at lag P plus 1 and greater. If the sample autocorrelation plot indicates that an AR model may be appropriate, then the sample partial autocorrelation plot is examined to help identify the order. One looks for the point on the plot where the partial autocorrelations for all higher lags are essentially zero. Placing on the plot an indication of the sampling uncertainty of the sample PACF is helpful for this purpose, this is usually constructed on the basis that the true value of the PACF, at any given positive lag, is zero. This can be formalized as described below. An approximate test that a given partial correlation is zero is given by comparing the sample partial autocorrelations against the critical region with upper and lower limits given by, where n is the record length of the time series being analyzed. This approximation relies on the assumption that the record length is at least moderately large and that the underlying process has finite second moment. References Box, GEP Jenkins, GM Reinsol, GC Time Series Analysis, Forecasting and Control. Hoboken, New Jersey, Wiley. ISBN 9780470272848. Rockwell, Peter. Davis, Richard. Time Series, Theory and Methods. New York, Springer. ISBN 9781441903198. Enders, Walter. Applied Econometric Time Series. New York, John Wiley Pages 65 a Euro 67. ISBN 0 471 23065 0. This article incorporates public domain material from the National Institute of Standards and Technology document HTTP, www.tilmist-governed-book section 4-PMC 4463-htm.